and he did say, Shall we not use this power as our enemies used it unto us? Do we not carve their wild forests into our beams and boards? Do we not tame their raging streams to carry our boots? And in their youth and foolishness did his brothers say, Yes, let us. Collected letters of the Smith and Exile. With the talismans, I'll be able to break the wards on the cathedral. It's time for me to retrieve the eye and bring it to Constantine. Last time I was here, the eye was inside, in plain sight on the main altar. I just have to grab it and leave. But that won't necessarily be easy if the place is as haunted as it looked before. So if things get tough, there is another way out. Through the gate and the cloister, behind the cathedral. The sooner this ordeal is over with, the better. When I get paid for this job, I'm going to retire in style. Return to the cathedral. Grab the eye. Leave the cathedral area. Welcome back, good viewer. This is the Skyrider. And here we are, my friends. Once again. Back in the sealed quarter. Outside the haunted cathedral. <laughs> um, any individual who knows this series will know just how infamous this mission is in this game and indeed in the whole of the Thief series. Uh, especially when you consider that this was made back in the late 90s. This mission is a scary one. Especially for its time, it must be said. In fact, it is, in my opinion, the second most scary mission in the Thief series. Any individual who uh, has played the Thief series, I'm sure, will be able to guess what my number one mission is. I am not looking forward to LPing the Shale Bridge Cradle whenever I LP Deadly Shadows some da somewhere down the line. Ooh, dear. Um, I... Yes, I must start off this video, good viewer, with uh, two apologies. First being that, um, uh, basically, for whatever reason that I can, uh, for, well, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why, my game disc for Thief crapped out on me. Don't know why, it simply refuses to work and play Thief anymore. I've tried several things, it just doesn't work. So what I went and did is I went and bought the game on Steam. So if things look slightly different, I, I can't imagine they would look vastly different, but in case they do, that's uh, that's why. Because uh, I'm playing the Steam version, which is ever so slightly, you know, different. Because when old games get tend to get put on Steam, they tend to, like, have, you know, a few tweaks for bugs or errors or that sort of thing sometimes, but anyway, that's why. Um, the second reason is, as I mentioned in my, um, my, uh, or rather, as I probably will mention, because this video is probably going to go up first, in my next part of Galaxy, uh, one of my wisdom teeth is coming through in my mouth, and as opposed to where else, Skyrider, um, but is coming through, and it, that's rather painful, so if I make, you know, cries of pain, or what have you, then that's why. However, fortunately, I did take some ibuprofen before, a while before I recorded this, so it's lessened uh, somewhat. But anyway, <laughs> there's no more... Uh, all those technical things aside, could you hear? There's no more putting this mission off now. Oh lord, here we go. So just as graveyardy as ever. So, here we place the four talismans, the air talisman from the Hammerites. The Earth Talisman. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks for all that I'm getting out of here now, strange voice. It's not like I wanted the eye anyway, and... Oh, bugger. Well, on the plus side, at least we didn't have to come back through that whole maze of the sealed quarter to get back here. I guess there's no going back now. The Earth Talisman from the Hand Brotherhood. I like the little noises they all make associated with their elements. <laughs> That and not going through that quarter is the 
perhaps, are perhaps the two good parts of this mission. <laughs> the fire talisman from the lost city. And finally, the talisman of water from the opera house. Oh good, that's promising. Whispering voices! <laughs> Equally nice and promising. <laughs> and doors that shut of their own accord, the, perhaps the most promising thing of all. Oh lord. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, let's have a read of this. Though these be perhaps the final moments of our beloved cathedral and my mortal life, I shall faithfully chronicle to the end. A great evil magic hath befallen us, and we battle with demon kind on all sides. Our own fallen brethren rise from death and turn on us, cold light of flame in their eyes. Our mighty doors availed us not, for the assault was from within. Soon I shall be found and slain, like the others. May the Builder save our souls. You really get a sense for the atmosphere in this mission, good viewer. I can tell you that much. Oh good, rattling chains, that's always fun. If that weren't bad enough, we have the worst horror of all. Tile, good viewer. Right. What's in here, I wonder? Before we uh, head into the main altar room. Do, 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 do. Come on, door. It's not like zombies are about that could eat my face at any moment. Loot! That's one thing we can fall back on, at least, good viewer. And another note. I never get used to it. No matter how many times I've played this mission, I never get used to the fact that the doors shut at their own accord. Brother Gerard, the behaviour we have repeatedly seen exhibited is truly most troublesome. The eye hath been moved once again to the vault in the cellar. This eve, please you post two sentinels to guard it. Thus we shall determine how it is that we find it floating over the higher altar each morn. Curiouser and curiouser. This eye has a lot more to it than meets... Uh, well, you know. Behold, good viewer. One of the reasons why this mission is considered so deadly, so scary, so, and it must be said, so difficult. Hammer haunts, good viewer. These bastards that we saw previously in the sealed quarter mission are the hardest enemies to kill in the game, or rather, the, if you if you do it wrong, the hardest enemies to kill in the game. They are the most powerful, in my view. They are fast, they are deadly, and they also have the horror factor, which doesn't help. However, they, like all enemies in the game, can be killed with a backstab. So, so long as you do it right, you're fine. But if they see you, if they engage you in combat, then you, my friend, are royally fucked. It is not impossible to kill these things in one-on-one -on -one combat, but it is very difficult. And if two of them, or more of them, go after you, then... Well, put it this way, if you can beat two or more hammers in single combat with, or you know, two, attack two or more hammers at once, using only your sword and no other objects, then I salute you, for you are truly a thief master. Right, first things first, let's get our escape route planned. Because... The thing about a backstab is that though it provides an instant kill, it produces a hell of a lot of noise. And unlike the blackjack, uh, well, unlike the blackjack, which produces virtually no noise. However, because this is such a combat-heavy mission, we don't actually have our uh, our blackjack on us. That's another reason why this mission is so difficult. It's just that again. You can sneak up, you you know, you can and should sneak around. See, there's three of them in this room. Oh dear, these bastards. Um, 
Yeah, if you... Oh, God, what was I saying? Yeah, there's just so much combat. And you have to avoid so many powerful enemies. That's why this mission is considered one of the hardest in the game. In fact, this mission is probably, for me, my hardest mission in the game. Come on, turn around, you bastard. <coughs> right, now the problem with that is that... Once you do that, it alerts everyone in the room. However, what we did was we bought the flash bombs. Got him. Are they gone? They're gone. And the zombies are like, oh no, no. We only wanted to play. Come back down and play with us. Flash bombs, good viewer. Uh, as well as being a good distraction for killing guard, for getting away from guards, they are deadly against undead. Yes, yes, brains, brains, brains. Shut up, will you? Two direct, two flash bombs to the face of a haunt will kill it. And the good thing about the haunts is that unlike their zombie counterparts, once a haunt is dead, it stays dead. Now. For some reason, good viewer, I always screw up this jump. Ha! Reverse Jinx! Sure I can, mate. Hardest mission in the Thief series, what am I talking about? It's just a simple case of going out the front door. Right? It is just a case of going out the front door, isn't it? That... that's right, isn't it? Leaving so soon... I think that would be too easy. These doors I sealed once again. You have to find another way. Now how am I going to get out of here? And it is that, my friends, that one simple thing that entirely fucks the entire mission of great zombies. Right. Okay, Jim, come here. A bit closer. There we go. Is that him down? That's him down, okay. Yes, yes, brains, brains. Yes. As I said, the haunts, they're dead. Thank God. Resurrecting zombies I can deal with. Resurrecting haunts. Now that would be a real bastardly fish of a dick. You heard. This is the uh, the front door that you see here, good viewer. And the reason that you don't want to open that is because, uh, and you want to go around the side, as you uh, will hopefully do if you play this game yourself. Sword to the face. Come on. Uh oh. There's a ghost over there, good viewer. Can I climb up here? No. Unfortunately, the ghost didn't see me. As you see, good viewer, a ghost is the only enemy in the game that can survive a backstab. Admittedly, it only takes one swipe after that to kill it. But even so... Zombies. If you can, if you can kill zombies away from major uh, points of travel, doors, narrow halls, etc., then you should be able to, you know, essentially kill them permanently. So, so long as I can avoid just going over in that direction, I should be okay. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, ghosts, another enemy in this game, in this particular level. All right. Do some lumberjacking. 
I'm all on the deck and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. Uh, I've forgotten the lyrics for that. Hello, zombie. Hello, moaning things of death. Okay. Just let me go into this room a bit. Oh, Fine. Okay, Bob, over here. Yes, come on. Out the way. Seriously? Okay, fine. Be a bitch. Come on. Can I get in here? Yes, I can. Wonderful. Isn't that beautiful? <sighs> Zombies. Still, I'm impressed that I haven't lost any health yet. Way to jinx it, Skyrider. Okay, candlesticks. Beautiful. There's one thing that can make you feel better in any thief game. It's the appearance of loot. I mislike the wisdom that so many of the mechanical systems in the compound doth rely upon the proper functioning of the machine room in the cathedral cellar. Our enemies might attempt sabotage, turning our short sight against us. Let us set about re-engineering such that each mechanical system is powered by more local equipment. Interesting. Yet more valuable information. Right, instead of waking up... Uh... Um... This is the problem with getting later into the LP. You run out of original names. Um, Franklin, yes. Instead of waking up Franklin upstairs, we'll go round the long way. Come on, open up the lock door. There we go. Lock door opens in a creepy manner. Oh, bugger it. I forgot about that. Fortunately, however, we have a lot of rope arrows. Yeah, that's fine, they don't see us there. Yes, it's brains, brains, brains. In fact, why did I do that? There wasn't a point to that, because there's something else I can do. Still, may as well take him out whilst I'm here. Oh, Josiah! Did I just kill him? Ah, oh, damn. I did. Right on the stairs as well. Oh, well. Yet more whispering. That can't be good. Now, what I want to know is what sort of shoes is Garrett wearing? Because you've heard him walk on tile, good viewer, and it's literally just occurred to me. Is he wearing tap shoes? Because, like, Surely, some a good, you know, th you know, a good thief, a profitable thief such as himself, would be able to buy different sorts of shoes, you know, soft, some sort of soft leather, or you know, fur, or you know, do, so something that's, you know, get something that doesn't sound like he's walking around in heels, basically, because that's just impractical. Still, adds the dramatic tension of it all, I suppose. A novice passing the cemetery yester eve said he saw a strange glowing figure walking therein, but upon investigating found that the apparition had vanished. Those who heard his story laughed and blamed his vision on an excess of ale, but I am not so quick to dismiss it. I remember the burial of our beloved brother Murus last week, and the feeling that something was wrong. I shan't relate the story to brother Martello, since he was much attached to brother Murus, and mourns his loss still. Brother Murus, eh? There's more going on in this cathedral that I dislike. Eek! Raggy! It's a g g ghost That was me attempting to do the wheeling 
you know, noise of the legs. It it, it, it was a spontaneous thing, good viewer. It didn't work, okay? Not everything does. Stop judging me. Welcome Eek! to the majestic and splendid Hammer Cathedral. How pleasing to welcome new initiates into our fold. I am Brother Muris, and I will be thy spiritual guide. I see that thou art tired from your journey, so I'll leave thee be. But if thou needst my help, I can be found down in the cloister. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. It appears that something was wrong with Brother Murius's burial. Did I say Murius? Murus. Okay, right, let's take out this ghost, because the ghost is far more dangerous than the zombie. Backstab swipe. Now, is there anything in this garden? Water arrows. Or water arrow, rather. Okay, let's get out of the highly visible light. Where is that light coming from, anyway? Oh, well, no matter. Oh, crap. Haunt, good viewer. Hide, hide, for the love of God, hide. Okay, bub. Let's see if I can take you out. Just don't come into my hidey hole. I'd rather backstab you in the face. I said in the face. Down you go, mate. Good. Okay. Four haunts in one video, good viewer. Not too bad at all. However, my friends, I think we will leave things there. I think that's quite enough zombie killing for one night. This place gives me the creeps, I tells ya. Still, we've discovered a lot more about this cathedral, about our hopeful friend there, Brother Murus, and about the eye, and all of these things, and why this place really is so desecrated. And so, my friends, with the execution of this zombie, I will bid you farewell. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Skyrider. Farewell until we meet again.